so I have got two um, charity shop haul videos for you. I have smushed them both together. Um, I am about to film my second lot. So the first lot you'll see is from the like last week, I think, and I didn't know that I would find a bunch more stuff. So that was like a single video, but I'm gonna just bung this lot onto the end because there's not a massive amount and it'll just make it a bit longer. So hold on, you'll get one lot in a sec and then I will be back with this. Uh, welcome back. I went to the charity shops on Friday. Um, this was instead of going to the car boot sale on Sunday. Um, so I skipped that for a change and just went to the charity shops, which, you know, is normally hit and miss, but this time I got quite a bit. So I thought I'd just give you a quick video and show you what I found. So we'll start here. This is a tracer projector. Um, it was six pounds. Uh, Uh, so because it's from a charity shop it's all been tested, pap tested, all that kind of stuff so that's really good um, and they seem to go for about uh, 40 to 50 ish um, so I'm quite pleased with that. That was the first thing I found so that was a really good start. I got a couple of vintage wallpapers, they're not particularly exciting. Uh, so this is a crown, uh, sort of textured one there that was two pounds and then this one it just says it's like EC or ICI makers of wall flare and that again is just that's just a te like textured for painting on I guess that one uh, but it's quite a cool texture again it was two pounds so hopefully people want those kind of things uh, in this bag we have got a big TY dog, I don't know, it was cute, it was £2.50, I'm not entirely sure what these big ones go for, uh, but I liked it, so I got it, so we will see. Uh, right. And then we went to a shop where I don't normally buy very much, because either the clothes just seem really well worn, and overpriced and the bric-a-brac is definitely overpriced uh, yeah so but they had loads of vintage shirts so this is not a shirt this is a jacket this is a Puccini uh, flowery sort of cotton jacket I'm not entirely sure what it's worth it was five pounds but I thought it was really cool um, maybe so autumnal, I don't know. And then shirts. So this one was four pounds. This is a Jaeger. Uh, like this. More of a sort of a, almost a jersey kind of fabric, that one. I did see this one on eBay and I think it had sold for about 18 or so. So that's not too bad. This one is also Jaeger, but this I don't know if it's silk or satin, or just satin. Uh, like this, with a really cool sort of pleated uh, collar there. So that was quite nice. That one was four pounds. Then there's a flowery one. Oh, another one. This is also Jaeger. Yeah, so this one says 100% silk in this one. So that's a flowery one. That one was 4.50 for that one. I just need to check that they have all got their buttons and things like that. Uh, and then there's two more. So this is just, I don't know, Bianca, but it's a really cool stripey one. I quite liked that. And a good size as well. A bit bigger than the other ones. And then the last one is my favourite I think. This is John Elliott. So this might be a men's one, I'm not sure. But look at that pattern. It's cool. And that was four pounds as well. 
Oh no, that does say size 14, so yeah. Fun though. And then from the same shop, I got these um, Sebe Sebago. Sebago. I don't know how you pronounce that. Can you see that? Oh, on the base, it's probably easier to see that. Sebago. Duck steps. Duck sides. Duck sides. And they were £10. Uh, so it was a bit weird in here. They had a whole shelf of shoes with labels on that said new, but they were blatantly not new. Um, these don't look very well worn, but they have got some discoloration. You know, you can see they have been worn. And they weirdly had a sticker on the base that said £3.50. So obviously I went to the checkout and I was like, oh, they say £3.50 on the bottom. Like, no, they are £10. Which is fine because, you know, they do seem to sell for quite a good price. So I wasn't, I wasn't too sad about that. And then the last bag of bits we've got. couple of mugs. So these are Wedgwood Sarah's Garden. Let's see those. I think they're both the set. Yeah, they're both the same design. They were 99p each. They say 1997 on. Uh, so they were quite nice. This I think was a bit of a fail. So this is where's the top? I mean, it's really cool. It's like a jumpsuit, sort of 80s. It goes really wide at the legs and then sort of tapers back in. But I think the elastic at the waist has gone. Uh, it's like a hole as well. I think there might also be a hole in it. I oh, know, it might just be very thin. <laughs> um, it was £6.50. So I'm not sure whether just to return that one, to be honest. I'll have a think about it. Uh, I've got a Daisy Mark Jacobs pouch. Uh, these are just the little freebie ones you get with the um, with the perfume, but I might get a couple of quid. It was a pound. This is a travel wallet. So you put like your passport and all your documents and all that sort of thing. That was a pound as well. Uh, it's not going to make my fortune, but it's easy to photograph and it's easy to post. So that's really good. This is a little jelly cat rabbit. It's one of the little jelly cat ones. That was two pounds. I think they go for about, I think someone's got one on for about 18, 17 or 18. So that wouldn't be too bad. This was pretty good. So this is one of the IKEA Lichter lamps. I've got one of this colour listed already <clears throat> for 35. So we'll see how that one does. But this was £1.50. Um, and I don't need to get it tested. Hold on, someone's trying to phone me. I'm just gonna hang up. And then I think I got one of the Born to Shop mugs. I've got a few of these, I still haven't listed any of them. Who knows? I know. And then the last things is a pair of vintage uh, Superman curtains, and they were three pounds. Three pounds. So yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, so this is the oh, the door is closing. Um, this is the second lot that I got from the charity shop. So I will just give you a little peek. Uh, so these are like fabric placemats, there are four of those, they're quite big ones, placemats or maybe like napkins, probably napkins actually now I think about it, um, and then these which are just, look at those, Woo! that one had a mug in it, those definitely are more like placemats, so they're a bit like Welsh wool sort of tapestry type ones. Um, they didn't have a price on in the charity shop, so I went to the counter and asked, and normally it's really expensive in there, and he had no idea, so he said a pound a bunch, so I paid a pound for those four, and I paid a pound for those six, which is really good, so I'm super pleased with those. There's the other ones, there's six of those ones. 
Uh, and then from the same shop, I got these two little mugs, initial mugs. Um, these were a pound each. They are from um, Heels. There you go, they are burly, but made for Heels. So I just thought they'd be nice for Christmas. They sell for maybe like eight pounds, something like that. Um, but nice Christmassy gift, so we'll see. Uh, we've got a Salter uh, Scales. It seems to come with two bowls. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> there you go, it's a sort of a yellow bee one. I've had an orange one before. This looks quite orange in the picture, but it is more of a sort of a, a, a yellow. Uh, it was three pounds. I'm not sure what they go for now. It's quite grubby and gross. It's gonna need to be quite a good scrub, but it's quite a funny color. And then there's a spare bowl. So I don't know, maybe I can sell it separately as a spare. What else have we got? It was only yesterday I went and I always forgot. This is like a little studio pottery, um, mushroomy vase thing. It says it was hand built by Tim Taylor and it was 99p. Uh, I'm quite surprised that it has survived. It's quite delicate. I have no idea what it's worth. I just thought it was really cute and mushrooms are really popular. Oh, that's my sister. She bought that. So put that to one side. Uh, I got a couple of little bits of pottery because I like to add them into little bundles. So these were reduced to a pound each. So there's a little sort of vasey one. It is stamped that one with, uh, I think it says Moffat, Moffat Pottery, Scotland. And then a little green one, like a little condiment or sugar jar. Uh, that one doesn't have a stamp, but it's a nice colour. Uh, we've got two mugs. They say E-I-T on the base, I don't know, just little speckled, they were 50p each uh, and these kind of things sell quite quickly on Etsy, so that was quite nice. I got a kids plastic plate, uh, it was £1.70 which was an odd price, uh, it is Fred, Fred and Friends. Um, but it seems in really good condition and they seem to sell for about a tenner um, and it's nice and easy to pack and post and photograph and all that so I don't think that's too bad. Uh, those are for my husband, he's almost passed his test, we're getting there. Uh, <laughs> um, this one is an embroidery kit, Mr Stitchman, it is for an owl like this, which is really cute. It was quite a lot, it was four pounds, but it is unused. So you've got it all traced out on there. And it's got all of the, like the thread, the yarn in there as well. Uh, so that was really cool. And I think that would be a really fun thing for somebody to do. I'm not sure I have the patience. But I like it. It's nice. Um, it was £4. Did I say that? I don't even know what I'm doing today. Right. There's a set of these pictures. So there's four of them, all embroidered, all sort of same but slightly different. They were 3 99 for the set, so like a pound each really, which is really good. So those are quite lovely. Uh, so I don't know whether I'd sell them as a set or as individual, I think probably as a set. You wouldn't want to split them up would you? They're really cute. Uh, what else have we got? 
under here is a is it Vietnamese Vietnamese tray. I've had a plate of I think very much the same design, uh, and I've got a picture in stock at the moment. Uh, this has got the tiniest little nibble just on the edge. Uh, another one there. But it was only two pounds and it's really lovely. Um, you can see oh, it's got the original sticker on the back there as well. Uh, in here. I mean these were super cheap. These are Hornsey. Uh, the contrast set. So there is tea sugar oh. and a plain one but they were only 2 .99 for the three which was crazy cheap people seem to be like charity shops are putting Hornsey stuff up at really expensive I saw a pair of mugs for 16 pounds in one of them so 2.99 I pretty much ran to the checkout with those so they're really cute I like those and there's just a couple more bits in here. There's a uh, Schurich German planter. It was 50p. 50p! It's really good. I mean, it's not a particularly exciting one, but it's still only 50p. This is great. These were my most expensive purchase. These are hush puppies. I can't remember what the style is. But it's that sort of Victorian steampunky kind of style. I thought they looked weird, so I looked them up, and they seem to sell for about sixty quid. Um, I paid fifteen, uh, so, so I was quite pleased with that. They don't have too much wear. Pretty good, really, and nothing like there's no scratches or anything. So yeah, very pleased. And then the last, I think this is the last thing. So the last thing is a North Face uh, jacket. So yeah, that was six fifty for that one, and it is a women's medium, nice for autumn. So I'll probably pop that onto eBay and Vinted and see how that goes. I'm not really a brands buyer. It's not what I am very good at, but <laughs> £6.50 I thought wasn't too bad, so I'll give it a go. Um, yeah, so that's everything, I think, hopefully, uh, and thank you for watching. Um, yeah.